Hello everybody, good morning. It's the Black Car Guru back with another video serving you breakfast. And today we're going to dive into the LT1 6.2 Gen 5 engine. In 2014, the 6.2 LT1 debuted in the 2014 C7 Corvette. And depending on which model you got or what package you got with your C7 Corvette, it was either going to have 455 horsepower or it was going to have 460 horsepower, depending on you. It eventually found itself in the Gen 6 Camaro SS. They also mentioned this thing has poor visibility. Literally driving one of these things is like trying to rob a bank blindfolded. May I also add that these came with sump. The Camaro SS's have a with sump LT1 and the C7 Corvettes have a dry sump system because mainly they're meant for like cornering and things of that nature and you don't need oil sloshing everywhere. The LT1 comes with hyperrotetic alloy pistons and powdered metal I-beam rods, AFM, DOD, VVT, oh my god, uh, and it has a compression ratio of 11.5 to 1. See, you got to understand, you can make 700 horsepower on this stock engine as it is, but you, you will have issues after that 700 horsepower mark. Now, if you're trying to go for big power, here's what you'll have to do. Oh, not to mention, this thing is direct injected, comes with piston oil squirters, and, man, it, it just follow, hear what I'm saying. First things first, you need to go get an AFM and DOD delete kit. Your L, these LT1s come with a single bolt cam, so with this three bolt VVT delete kit, it lets you turn it into a three bolt cam and delete your VVT at the same time, because... These things are a pain in the ass to like swapping other cars. I mean, sure, Holly has a swap kit, but that motherfucker costs probably $1,500. So, yeah, de delete that. Just just delete it. Don't you be hard-headed. Go get you some springs. Oh, and before I forget, with that cam I just showed you, you'll have to pick what stage you want to go from stage one to stage three. I mean, I know y'all love chops, so y'all more than likely going to go for a stage three cam, you greedy motherfuckers you now depending on what type of power adder you're going to use if you're going to procharge it i mean you could go with the stock intake that come with these things or you can go with an atomic air force for your lt1 now if you're going to procharge or turbocharge it i suggest you use an atomic air force for your lt1 upgrade your direct injectors arp head studs and some arp main studs now this is for just just engine shit now, there's things you will have to do, like, you know, decide what fuel you want to run it on, but that's part two. 